Hi guys and welcome back to this video. As many of you know, I'm a sponsored FlexPass student at Capella University and I'm excited to announce that I've finished my MSN in nursing education. I'm gonna do a whole kind of wrap up video on that, but I wanted to talk a little bit about my practicum. If you saw my last Capella video, I was doing a practicum at my workplace and I was focusing on early mobility and increasing early mobility practices on the unit that I was doing my practicum on and I was doing different kind of educational bits with the nurses. I did a little raffle and did a bunch of different techniques to try and boost the morale to really increase early mobility on patients. And I'm happy to say that my project was successful. I had a ton of people participate in all of my different early mobility techniques. And um, initially on the unit that I was doing my educational bit on, um, they were only mobilizing about 60% of their patients every 24 hours. And when I finished my practicum, they're mobilizing about 75%. So I increased in just like the couple weeks I was there, I increased early mobility by 15%, which is pretty big. It was pretty easy to schedule my practicum around my life because I didn't have to do like set clinical days. Kind of like when you're in nursing school, sometimes you have to like, you have your set clinical hours, set clinical days. Well, for this, I just scheduled my own practicum shifts. I arranged it with my preceptor and it was super easy, convenient. And if I have any tips for you guys on doing your practicum, I recommend start the process of getting your facility accepted and plan it out prior to you finishing getting into those last few classes for your masters. I made the mistake of I did all my classes and then I applied for my practicum. If I had done it so that planning process sooner in the in my classes, I would have been able to finish my practicum a little bit sooner. I definitely recommend take a look at the practicum planning process. They lay it out super nicely on Capella's website and start that when you are like in the middle of your practicum or if not in the beginning so that way once you get to your practicum you're ready to go your facility's been accepted your preceptor's been accepted and it's all good if you're nervous about starting your practicum i'd like to encourage you to not be super nervous one you're gonna pick whatever you want to research or do your educational bit on it's going to be flexible with your schedule because you're scheduling yourself and honestly once you're there and once you're doing it it's like it's not that bad i was a little out of my comfort zone because i was on a telemetry floor and i work in the icu and so i had to get to know a whole different set of nurses but honestly i really appreciated that i got to know them super well and now when i see them like when i'm working my regular shifts in the icu it's kind of cool we have that like little bond and i felt like i gained their trust and their respect and we had like a really good student nurse relationship if that makes sense i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's my little update look forward to my next fellow video i'm gonna do a whole recap on my MSN journey. So thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All Capella's information is down below and I'll see you in my next video.